In the department, we offer three flagship programs, if you will. So we offer a BSc program in chemistry. We also offer a BSc program in biochemistry and a BSc in pharmaceutical chemistry. These three programs are very much so focused on providing with our students with a, um, a very good uh, hands-on training. So we're focusing in our teachings in providing our students with the hands-on experience that they need after their graduation, uh, be it at, in, on the job market, uh, on the job site, or in, in advanced studies, for example, at the master's level. So we can do this because um, the programs that we offer typically have small a cohort of students. So we're dealing with uh, groups of 10 or, or 20 students each year, um, which is small enough for us to manage to, to provide students with a lot of, uh, of lab hours. So to give you an example, in, in second year, our uh, chemistry and biochemistry students typically will get approximately 200 hours of hands-on experience and at the third year level, it's going to be around maybe 150 hours, um, which is not something that you find in bigger institutions where the lab hours are, are shorter and also the, the not the quality, but the, the extent of hands-on training is also not as, um, as extensive, if you will, as what we can, we can offer. Um, another advantage of having small, uh, smaller cohorts is the fact that we can uh, give our students practical hands-on experience on instruments that are usually uh, reserved for, for research. We can have our students spend a couple of afternoons in a week to learn how a specific advanced piece of equipment works and per actually perform analyses on that piece of equipment. Um, this is not something that can be done in bigger institutions where the number of students far exceeds what we have here at Laurentian. So we, we take pride in the fact that we have a smaller number of students because then we can provide them with a, um, in my opinion, with a, a more enriching experience. Hi, I'm uh, Eric Gauthier. I'm a uh, professor of biochemistry at Laurentian University. I'm also the chair of the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. We established a couple of years ago a, a co-op option for each of our BSc programs. So that allows students to get um, experience in, on, on the job site um, in their field um, while being paid and also working full time. Um, a couple of years ago, we had a student who, who uh, got a co-op placement in, um, in a uh, biotech uh, startup. And he impressed so much his, um, his employers that he was hired right after the BSc. Um, we have also another student doing a one-year co-op now at uh, Sanofi. Sanofi is a big international company that um, is involved in, uh, in producing vaccines. So our student is now doing a co-op in a company that's actively working in, in getting a vaccine for, for COVID-19. So all of that would not be possible for them, I believe, if um, they didn't get that hands-on training first at, uh, at Laurentian, at, in the chemistry biochemistry department. Whether you're in the chemistry program, the biochemistry program, or the pharmaceutical chemistry program, um, you have to keep in mind that it's always possible to take courses in English or French, especially at the first and second year levels where uh, the vast majority, if not all of our courses are offered in both official languages. So uh, there's no barriers, there's no, nothing that prevents you from taking a class in French um, and uh, your other classes in English. Um, you can take as many as you want in either languages. Of course, as long as you follow the the, the courses that you that are required for your program. Um, if you achieve, uh, let's say you, you're taking the, the bachelor in, in chemistry, which is offered only in English. If you take um, 15 credits in, in French, you will be given the certificate for bilingualism. 
here at Laurentian by the university. So that's certainly something that's um, another add-on to your, to your portfolio when you graduate. Retiring faculty and, and staff uh, donated money to the department, which the department invested. And now we're in the position to um, um, use the interests from these investments as uh, scholarships to students in the chemistry and biochemistry program. So every year we give as much as $15,000 in scholarships to our undergraduate and graduate students. I'm, effectively, I'm, I'm not from Sudbury. I've been, however, I've been living here for 26 years. Sudbury is a little oasis in the nature. I mean, we're surrounded with, with lakes, we're surrounded with woods. The campus is gorgeous in the sense that um, buildings have been modernized in the recent years. We have brand new labs. The labs that, that we are right now has been uh, gutted and built from scratch four years ago. Your minutes walk from hiking trails and cross-country skiing trails, your minutes away from a private beach on campus. So in September, when it's still pretty warm, you can escape to the beach for a few minutes between two classes, for example. So uh, I don't sincerely don't know any other universities that have that kind of, of setting. Um, the, universe, the, the city is, is a small city, uh, but there's, there's a very vibrant life uh, in the city. There's, there's been a renewal downtown in the recent years with new restaurants, new venues, uh, and there's more to come also. So it's, it's really a great place to be.